Hi uh, guys, um, this is uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube friends. This is uh, kind of a tutorial. I just wanted to show it. I've noticed that a lot of people are, um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, there are a few of my friends on Facebook that are taking pictures of themselves and really blurring the skin to hide the look of um, wrinkles and, and blemishes on their face. And um, most of these people are my age in their 50s and, and uh, they actually are very good looking people. So I'm, I'm uh, thinking that maybe should try this new software, which is not, not new, it's been around for many years now, <laughs> called Picasso from Google. And it's very easy to clean up um, images on, or, or imperfections on your face without having it look like you've totally given yourself that cover girl look. And what I'm talking about, I'm going to use my brother-in-law's example, who is actually a very good looking guy. Um, but this is a terrible picture I took of him in Hawaii, so it really highlights his, uh, his wrinkles and, and blemishes. And here it is. Um, you can see he's a good, great looking guy. You just happened to get a really bad shot of him and you can see it's got plenty of wrinkles there and some blemishes. Um, but what I'm seeing from my friends on Facebook is this, where they're completely blurring the skin um, so that it, it looks like he's got cake makeup on. And, you know, I guess if you look at that, um, here, I'm going to expand that a little bit. I guess if you look at that uh, very quickly, you might go, oh, it's a younger guy, but come on. <laughs> so he's 50. He, uh, he has imperfections like we all do. So or he's 53, 54. I'm not sure how old he is now. Anyway, he's a very good looking guy. And uh, I think that doing that to somebody is, is not doing them justice. So I'm going to show you in Picasa, the free Google software. You can download this in a couple of minutes and it's great free software. But they have a thing called the retouch tool. And what this does, if we lower, lower the uh, brush size here. Let's say we want to um, now we'll clear up some of these floor, for, the, the, the forehead wrinkles. All we do is kind of select an area, move it to a clear area, and just kind of kind of clean it up. And I'm actually going to go a little too far on this, which is going to sort of blur the skin and go to the look I don't like. But just it's just to show you. We really, I mean, normally I would not say that these wrinkles on the forehead were any problem. Um, this looks like a natural. 50 something year old person, so but I'm just going to show you how much you can do with this free software. And I think most people already have it because it is a great photo uh, photo editor for free, organizer, um, very easy to use. There's really nothing complicated about it at all. And as you can see, I've pretty much cleaned up his whole forehead and I've taken it too far, but, um, and you know, we can, we can, we'll go overboard here, but. Keep in mind, when you're doing this for yourself, if you're just cleaning up your eye wrinkles or something, just clean up your eye wrinkles. Don't blur all, out all your skin so you, you look unnatural. It just uh, it isn't really attractive, actually. So, And to those of you that might figure out who you are that I'm talking about, please don't be mad at me. I'm just trying to show you a way to do it without being quite so intrusive. And, and uh, Because the people that um, are doing it, I actually think they're very, very good-looking people. And uh, they're not letting themselves be natural. And... Uh, I would die to look like some of these people do, so I think you should be happy. So anyway, you can see we're just sort of cleaning up his his eyes a little bit. Clean up those crow's feet. And if you really want to go overboard, we can even sort of take out this wrinkle a little bit, which isn't really a wrinkle. It's something we all have, but we'll give it that, that glowy, unnatural look. Let's say we don't like that scratch on the nose or whatever that is. Let's take that out. You can take out things like freckles or moles or whatever. Um, let's say we don't like oh, the old acne scars, which I don't know if that's what that is. We'll pretend it is. And to my brother-in-law, if he ends up seeing this, I'm sorry that I'm using this as an example because I don't think you've ever even seen this picture. Um, but it was a good one to use just because it was probably the worst picture I took of you. Hawaii. So you can see he really, really cleaned up his face and taken a few years off. If you really wanted to go hog wild, you could take out neck wrinkles. I think that's just silly. I'm kind of doing a bad job here, but um, so there you go. Um, we've kind of de-aged his face. We've taken away those crows feet, taken away the bag under the eye. Um, if you had Photoshop, you could actually do a little lightening and darkening to give that a more natural appearance. Oh, one thing I want to show you too is you can actually, let's say we wanted to extend his eyebrow. This is kind of a cool trick. You can just kind of bring it over. Yeah, let's make this brush size a little bit bigger. See that? We've 
actually made his eyebrow bigger. So anyway, that's easy, free. You can tell, you know, if, if I put this up on Facebook, I don't think anybody would really notice. He still looks like his age. He looks like a natural person with natural marks on their face and, and a little bit of wrinkles. And um, now watch this. This is, we're going to undo it and he's going to instantly age. Okay. One, two, three. Ta-da. Anyway, that's how you de-age or, or clean up a face and uh, um, not give it this, uh, this easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl look to 50-year-old men. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked it. I hope this helps you. And uh, um, please don't be insulted.